Hi, I am Dr. Supraja, Director, Pulmonology and Pulmonary Rehabilitation at Midway Institute of Pulmonology. Fungal infections are on the rise. Off late, we see a lot of patients with chronic respiratory infections. Chronic respiratory diseases account for around 600 million across the globe. And of these, 2 million cases belong to fungal infections. So in fungal infections in the respiratory system, it can affect either the upper respiratory airways or the lower respiratory airways. Post COVID, we are seeing quite a rise in the number of cases. Now, this can be because of the changing immunity that a person is experiencing or because of the environmental causes. Of these fungal infections, the most commonly seen is the Candida, followed by the Aspergillus and the Mucor. There are so many other varieties of fungi, but they are all ubiquitous and do not produce any problems in humans. So we have the current research which now identifies the fungus by, its, by the polymerase chain reaction technique and gives us results in less than 24 to 48 hours. So we have the pan fungal or the pan candida and the pan aspergillus PCR techniques which gives us very good results in a very short period of time. Now once we identify whether the fungus is present in the sample or not, it can be either a sputum or a bronchial wash sample, then we can proceed with metagenomic study which will completely analyze the type and the subspecies of these organisms and the results are available in less than a week or maximum in two weeks time. So they use bioinformatics technique to identify and collaborate and narrow down to the organism which may either be a pathological or a ubiquitous organism. So this will help us to treat our patients in a more efficient and effective way and they are not subject to broad spectrum antifungals unnecessarily. We have to realize that fungal infections are on the rise and a high degree of suspicion has to be placed whenever there is an incessant symptom which is not getting controlled uh, by adequate measures and a right sample at the right time will help the patients and us from avoiding unnecessary medications and treating them appropriately and giving them a excellent care. Thank you.